Hi, I'm Will Torrent, a pastry chef and chocolatier, and most of my weeks are spent eating, tasting, and creating lovely desserts using some of the world's finest ingredients. Uh, but this week I'm in Ethiopia, visiting people that Tear Fund are helping to become more resilient to climate change, disasters, and droughts through their amazing work in the self help groups. <laughs> I met an amazing uh, woman called Amarich who showed me how to make injera one of the, the classic dishes of Ethiopia. Easy, now I've got to do it. Here we go. <laughs> a fermented teff pancake, if you like, uh, cooked uh, over fire on a steel plate. <laughs> and the way that she welcomed us in to, to her home was just incredible. Because of poverty, my husband went to another country to find work. So I was left to raise my seven children alone. Life was very difficult for us, and we were affected by severe drought. We were the poorest of the poor. She was telling us that before she joined the self-help group two years ago, she didn't have enough money to clothe her kids and so they didn't want to go to school because they were taken the mick out of. There were times when I couldn't afford to feed my children. I couldn't fulfill their basic needs and that was what was hardest for me. When I joined the self-help group, we all started saving one bear a week. I took a loan and started a business buying butter from this area and selling it at the market. We also learned how to manage our resources and now I breed and sell cows and save my money properly. When my life started changing, I told my husband it was possible for him to work here and convinced him to come back. Now we hope for more, for a better future. She's got a smile on her face all the time, but to think just over two years ago she was really struggling. That's the amazing work that these self-help groups are doing. Today we've got two and a half thousand churches reaching out into their communities, 18,298 groups, 332,000 members impacting the lives of all their households. So we've got 1.7 million people now, lives being transformed. The biggest problem in my community, the weather here is all mixed up. During the dry season, Unexpected rain would come and destroy crops. When it should rain, it does not. And when it should be cold, we have a hot season. So everything has changed. This year, I lost all my crops. Now I don't even have seed for next season. But because of my business opportunities, I'm not just reliant on crops. I can buy seed elsewhere. But not everyone will have money to buy seed. I've seen how incredibly tough it is for people that have been affected by drought, disaster, climate change. But I've also seen the amazing hope that they have, having changed their mindset, even though they're about to face more difficult times ahead. <laughs> 